My name's Rebecca, I'm from Canberra and I've lost 23 kilos. So I've worked in the ambulance service for 22 years. I'm an intensive care paramedic by trade. Um, that involves a lot of shift work and, and lifting of patients and, and long, long hours. In the last few years though, I've come off the road and I'm an operations manager. Um, so I now look after um, paramedics and, and stations. So I, I quit smoking in 2010 and I went from being a shift worker and I went into an office environment. And all of a sudden, I over, you know, not all of a sudden, it was, I suppose, gradual. It felt like I, all of a sudden, um, I realised I was bigger. And I had to go to the stores and get a new uniform because my uniform didn't fit anymore. And then I had to go again and get another one. And, and when you've done that two or three times, you start to realise that you're in a position where your weight has crept up and crept on and you've not realised that, you, that you've done it. So I've played softball all my life and once you get to 35, you become a master. You can, you're eligible to play in master's competitions. So every two years at the Gold Coast, they have the Pan Pacific Masters Games and softball is one of the sports there. So I went this year and just come back actually um, less than a week ago. Um, it's a full on competition of nine days. We play 15 games in nine days. And we were, um, I was with 12 other crazy women and we were able to pull off a gold medal. So we were pretty happy with ourselves and that was a great accomplishment. With seven in the household, planning is essential. <laughs> Um, and so what, what we've got into the habit of doing is every Sunday we'll do a, a menu for the whole week. So this is for dinners mostly. So we write up on a chalkboard on the fridge, Monday night we'll have steak and vegetables, Tuesday night will be chicken something, Wednesday this, and we work out what we're going to have. Each kid gets to pick a dinner that they'd like or a dinner choice that they'd like and we sort of fill in the blanks and then we do our grocery shopping. What I really liked about the Total Wellbeing Diet was that it was family friendly. I didn't have to have a separate meal to anybody else in the household. We pimped the kids' stuff. Like if I wasn't eating potato at night, they'd have potato on their plate, but there were still seven you know, other vegetables on my plate that were appropriate for me to be eating. And we still ate together as a family. Well, I tell them, I tell them that I've been doing the Total Wellbeing Diet and I tell them all about it, those that are interested. And, and they, they I've, the guys at stores with the uniforms, I've come back three times now, again, for smaller uniforms. So they were the first ones to go, hang on a minute, you're going the other way. What's, what, what's going on? What are you doing? And one of the girls that I work with, uh, the same, she asked, what, what is it that you're doing? So I sat down with her and, and talked about the Total Wellbeing Diet, showed her the website. She's now on the program and she's lost 20 kilos as well. What I liked about this was the fact that it was scientific, it was Australian and, and you could have the flexibility to do it with a, with a busy family life. Um, and I suppose having tried a few different things a bit half-heartedly and not really you know, committed to it, the first week I weighed in, I'd lost two kilos. And for me, that was, okay, there's something to this. This is kind of a thing. So let's, let's see it through and committed fully to the process. So the results speak for themselves.